All right, guys. Thanks for checking out Stormtopia.com, the Stormtopia.com Facebook page. We're gonna have our daily weather update right now. A disruptive snowstorm is on the way here for the Northeast, looking at heavy snowfall accumulations possible um, anywhere in white. This definitely applies for you guys, okay? So let's take a look here at what's happening. Any good meteorologist who wants to analyze the future of the weather needs to see what's happening right now. When we take a look at the radar imagery, you see what's going on. We've got heavy rain making its way on through eastern Texas, along with severe thunderstorms. We had a 70 mile per hour wind gust, or exactly 69 miles per hour, in Corpus Christi, Texas. But with the cool mid levels, we are now seeing a historic ice storm through the mid south. Now, what does this mean for you in the northeast? Many of you watching this video, I'm sure, are from the northeast. You're not going to see the ice, so you're actually. Uh, by the uh, by the time this event is over, despite all the hype of the major northeast blizzard, I think the folks in the mid south are going to end up getting things worse because of the ice storm. But anyway, likely a quarter inch to a half inch of ice for many. Uh, the time to buy bread and milk, your time is up. You just have to stay put until authorities can get the whole situation, the whole mess, I should say, figured out. Now, we take a look here at the storm. Uh, what happens here is the ice storm moves out here by by uh, Monday into Tuesday. It's off the coast. Another follow-up clipper behind it, okay, very cold behind that, all right, and that feeds a low-pressure center that comes off the North Carolina coast, okay. Moderate snow inland through the Appalachians, and then heavy snow all the way up the uh, mid-Atlantic coast into New England. You say, this is the European run. Now, you say, Nick, that looks like a great run. Well, again, what else does a great meteorologist do? You also have to look at the pattern what is supporting that storm and is that supported and is that support noted on other guidance products so we take a look at the 500 millihour heights here from the european there it goes skirts the storm down off the coast right well what are the features you notice let's back things up here as the storm is making its way on through looks like a ridge in the western united states cooler air behind the storm and a follow up short wave okay in the upper midwest there's also the Pineapple Express here in the Eastern Pacific. Now that's interesting, okay? Because if this verifies, then you would be talking about great agreements on the guidance. Because I mean, you look at the NAM, look at the DIFAX chart here. Here we see the storm it moves east. All right, get stuff lined up here. Ridge in the west, cooler. Well, there goes my control. But ridge in the west, okay cooler air behind the storm. Where's our follow-up short wave? That dot. Immensely important dot. That's our follow-up short wave. So, we take a look at the GFS. Same features being noted. Ridge to the west. Cool air. Follow-up short wave and likely also lake effect enough sloping snow. So, we got the models agreeing. Do you? Well, we'll just have to see. Uh, so, uh, again guys, going back to the beginning of this video, if you're in the white, you're definitely at risk for this storm. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, more information on the storm can be found on stormtopia.com. We encourage you guys to go to your bookmarks, if you bookmark Stormtopia, go down to our website, okay? This is what, of course, you've done now, but if you scroll down, okay, on the front page, below the video we have a live chat alright so we'd love for you guys to interact with us in there you don't have to but it would be cool alright so that's it for now please spread the word about our website and have a great day